You gotta have a place to live, right? You gotta have a place to live. You've heard it all your life. Houses. You gotta have a place to live. But something happened. In 2008, everybody, a lot of people lost their shirts because the, uh, the housing market exploded. The bubble burst. And there were a lot of people, when that musical chairs happened, there were a lot of people standing and they ended up living in a house that they were upside down on. Upside down to me means that uh, basically they owed more on the house than the house is worth. So this is what the house is worth and this is how much they owe. So they're upside down. So uh, let's talk about how can we avoid that trap. Uh, the house coming right at you. Music Man in his man cave. Yeah! in his man cave. Now on this one I was pretty fortunate. And the reason I was fortunate is because no, the bank wouldn't give me a loan for a house. <laughs> it's true. Uh, the bank would not give me a loan for a house. Uh, they, we'd go in and they, we'd sit down and they'd go, you owe this and you owe that and what collateral do you have and give us the spiel and my wife and I could never, uh, you know, afford a house. Uh, it's just a fact. And so otherwise, I probably would have bought some of one of those mini mansions, one of those big monstrosities, you know, one of those houses that all your neighbors look at and go, someone's in a lot of debt. Uh, but uh, that didn't happen. Uh, be, so uh, we had to buy a house from a relative, um, from, had to buy a house from an uncle. And uh, it's a modest home. Uh, an old lady lived here for many years uh, with her husband and, uh, there's one owner in this house before us and they they built the house and so we were the second owners and the house uh, nobody wanted it everything was outdated uh, there's a lot of updating that had to be done and so we bought the house at a very modest price and uh, in a couple of years we we're gonna be done uh, we're gonna and so uh, the housing deal uh, how do you avoid uh, what I would have jumped into a, a hook and sinker if if I would have had the opportunity. First of all, uh, don't buy more house than you need. Okay, uh, and that's the bottom line. Uh, don't buy more house than you need. Um, my daughter's now one's about to graduate from high school. One's now in her third year in college, and uh, the the reality is is they're gonna go away. And they might come and visit every now and then. And we might have to pull out a hide a bed or blow up a mattress. But that's a lot better than still having paying on a house for 30 years. And so my advice is, when it comes to housing, uh, even if you have good credit, buy what you need. And if you can, bring uh, if you can pay cash for a house, that would be ideal. Yet few people can pay cash for a house. Um, I was not in the position to pay cash for a house. Um, paying rent is not always a bad deal, and we'll talk about that. Um, then if you have to take out a loan, uh, take out as short a period of loan as you can that you can afford. And if it's 30 years, I probably would wait. Um, I'd wait till I could pull it down to like 20 years if it was me. Now looking with hindsight, hindsight is 2020, and... Uh, and so you, you really don't want to get yourself into a position where you're house poor. House poor is where the house owns you. You don't own it. And one little thing happens and it ends up that it's almost it's an emergency. And it, it creates that situation where you're living paycheck to paycheck. And you want to get out of that. You want to be able to put some money in, in savings. And, and you want to be able to invest money. You don't want to just get stuck and have this big house that uh, is just sucking you dry. Of everything that you have, um, so houses are nice. You got to have a place to live. If you, as long as you have a, a good roof over your head and you're protected from the element and the winds, you're doing better than most of the people on this planet. Uh, so the bottom line is, is you have to look at those these things, and we'll talk more about housing, house versus renting. We'll talk about that. But um, if you're gonna buy a house. Uh, which is still possible. It is. Don't get this, this, uh, oh, it's impossible. Now no one can afford a house. Yes, you can. You can afford a house. You just can't afford the house that you want. But you can afford the house that you need. And we'll talk more about that. Houses can become uh, a burden. Um, I've seen that. My uncle, 
he just sold his house and he sort of, you know, he was really sad that he sold his house. But the house, had, he got to a point in his life where the house became an albatross around his neck. It became a burden to him and it was obvious to everybody that he needed to sell it. And he sold it to this real nice lady. She's really sweet. Um, and he's really sad and he feels like he's lost his house. Well, he didn't lose his house. He was in a position where a lot of the things he needed to do were downstairs and he had the, and he couldn't navigate stairs very well anymore because he's 88 years old. So the bottom line is, is uh, if the house is becoming a burden, pay it off and get out of it. I mean, uh, there's some advice for houses. So if you're going to buy a house, and you're looking at buying a house, buy ca pay cash if you can for your first house. If you can't pay cash, take out a low interest loan and pay it off as fast as you can. And if uh, and if the house is becoming a burden, uh, even if you have to take a loss on it, get out. Get out of the house. Like those haunted movies, you know. Uh, you don't shouldn't live in a house and it shouldn't become a trap. Anyway, Music Man, coming at you. Stupid with money. <laughs> See you later.